Mounts in video games. Who is your favourite steed to help you travel on your journeys? Is it Epona from The Legend of Zelda? No! You're telling me in the crazy Hyrule universe this is the coolest design you came up with for a horse. A default skin. Well, what about Agro from Shadow of the Colossus? No, nope. I'd rather have a horse that actually survives, thank you very much. Now, is it Roach from The Witcher? What do you mean I have to find my horse before I can ride it? Well, you know who ticks all of these boxes? Torrent from Elden Ring. What an absolute legend. There was a speculation that Torrent was actually given his name in order to inconvenience those who wanted to immorally acquire a copy of the game. However, this wouldn't prove to be much of a deterrent for anyone who has tried to download a game without purchasing it before. If From Software really knew what was good for them, they would have named him Pirate or Crack. Not that I would know anything about pirating a game, I'm a very good girl, and have never illegally downloaded anything. Ever. What was this video about? Oh yeah, our beloved mount from Elden Ring, Torrent, and how he actually has a much more important purpose than just our mode of transportation. Now, we don't actually start the game with the mount, we have to first talk to Melina. If we agree to take Melina along with us on our journey, she will give us a delicate gold work ring, which lets us summon Torrent. This ring is in fact a whistle, and at first I couldn't quite figure out how this ring could be used as an instrument. I'm no expert, but the fact that it's described as specifically a finger whistle makes me think that the open ends of the band act as the fingers that you would place on your mouth in order to make the noise, and these might be holes where the sound can emit from. There is also a literal finger whistle in Sekiro as well, which I believe may operate in a similar fashion. It's got holes which you can blow through. Now this ring isn't made from any ordinary metal. Spoiler alert for the Frenzied Flame ending. When the Tarnished accepts the role as Lord of Frenzied Flame and becomes engulfed in fire, Melina appears at the end to collect what was left behind. The only thing, the ring, the spectral steed whistle. So you could argue that this ring is in fact indestructible as it appears relatively unscathed, just a little bit hot. Or it could be that the ring rejected the tarnished. Torrent rejects us. See, at the very beginning, Melina tells us that Torrent has chosen us. This is not a creature that just anyone can summon and let alone ride. Torrent is a sentient being who has some semblance of a moral compass and is able to make for an excellent judge of character and potential. So if you choose to do the frenzied flame ending, not only does Melina vow to hunt you down for what you've done, but you also betray your faithful animal companion. I will seek you as far as you may travel to deliver you what is yours. Destined death. Now, speaking of indestructible things, something to note about Torrent is that we are able to resurrect him should he take too much damage. Now, this game wouldn't be too much fun if Torrent were able to perish as easily as we do, but Torrent will despawn should his HP drop to zero. He can be resurrected using a charge of the Crimson Flask. Maybe this is looking too much into it, but I don't believe anything else in this game can be resurrected using the same method. We know that enemies can use flasks for healing, but not able to bring anything back to life. So Torrent is special and unique in this way. Torrent is referred to as a spectral steed, and when we summon him, in a similar fashion to how we summon spirit ashes, he materialises with these blue particles, also like the spirit ashes. So what kind of creature is Torrent, or what is he based on? He doesn't really look like a typical horse. He has kind of a dwarfed stature, kind of like a Shetland pony. I actually stumbled upon a specific cryptid, a Kelpie, from Scottish folklore. A shape-shifting water spirit. And what does the word torrent mean? A rapid rushing stream of water. Anyway, it might be a stretch of a connection, but what is significant is that torrent has horns, making him resemble more of a yak. Now, in the game, there is a group who have a connection to both spirits and horns, the ancestral followers in Siofra River. Siofra? Guys, help me, every video there is one thing I mispronounce. Anyway, these people wear horned headbands and protect this spiritual site with their lives. They worship ancestral spirits. 
one of the most hauntingly beautiful creatures in this game. And immediately, by looking at them, they've got a really strong resemblance to Torrent in terms of stance, build, and movement. One of my favorite features about Torrent as a mount is that he's able to double jump, a feature that we don't really see with any other creatures apart from in the Ancestor Spirit boss fight. And when he jumps, it emits the same blue aura and the same noise as well. But what about the horns? They seem to branch out endlessly. Now in real life, deer can grow horns forever. They will just keep on growing and growing. In Elden Ring, the ancestral followers carried these horn charms and they believe that these horns, horns of a beast, continue to bud like antlers over and over and over again until one day that beast will become an ancestral spirit. So this boss once had virtually no horns but what they look like now is the result of them growing over many, many years. So it's possible that Torrent is related to the Ancestor Spirit or is a very young version of one due to how small his horns are. Now there might be different types of Ancestor Spirits. They don't have to be directly related to the deer anatomy because there are multiple types of these horn charms that all have different shapes, different sizes, but I think this one matches exactly the type that Torrent has. Wider, simpler, with a long curve. Now the ancestral followers also carry around with them a skull, an ancestral infant's head, a very young ancestral spirit. Just think of how many sproutings it may bear. So taking a look at the anatomy of this skull, it may very well match with the proportions of Torrent's head. He is in fact an infant ancestral spirit. So given all of this information, it gives a new meaning and importance to Torrent as our mount. He has these abilities because of his origin. When we whistle to summon him, he's not just materializing out of nowhere. He's resting deep underground with all these other spirits in Siofra River. And we're calling for him to come to us on the surface above. And the fact that Rani is the only other individual apart from Melina who recognizes that you have Torrent in your possession. One of the first things she asks us is if we have the power to summon Torrent. Thou art possessed to the power, no? to call forth the spectral steed named Torrent. And she's happy and relieved when we confirm. This may imply that being worthy of calling Torrent has important implications as to what his true potential could entail. I hope this helped you appreciate more about Torrent's importance as one of the best mounts. And this is with no disrespect to Leonard. Leonard is an absolute unit carrying an even bigger unit. Speaking of which, my Radan TikTok, one of my very first Elden Ring TikToks that I made, is about to hit 3 million views of all the ones to get that many views. One where I edited my eyes and makeup so badly. <laughs> Thank you so much all of you who've been supporting me from the very beginning. You've been leaving me such wonderful feedback about the quality of my channel. It's just really heartwarming, so thank you. And I also want to say thank you to my channel members, Jawby and Ruses5. If you'd like to join my channel as a member and become a Chalice Chad, it's completely optional, but it's a very appreciated way of supporting me. Also, Chalice Chad is probably going to be a placeholder name. If you'd like to suggest anything better, I'd love to hear it. But yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.